वेलकम टू माई चैनल आई एम सुदर्शन टूडे टॉपिक इज बीटा एड एनर्जी ब्लॉकर्स सो वॉट आर द क्वेश्चन दैट आर आस्क इन यूर एग्जाम्स रिगार्डिंग बीटा ब्लॉकर्स दे विल आस्क द मेकेजम ऑफ एक्शन ऑफ बीटा ब्लॉकर्स क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ बीटा ब्लॉकर्स एंड थेरापेटिक यूजेस ऑफ बीटा ब्लॉकर्स विच आर कार्डियक यूजेस एंड नॉन कार्डियक यूजेस दे विल आस्क दीज सेपरेटली सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कवर ऑल दीज टॉपिक्स एंड आई विल गिव यू द ट्रिक्स टू रिमेंबर दीज टॉपिक्स ओके सो स्टे ट्यून टिल द लास्ट so let's start this video uh, so beta blockers what are beta blockers these are beta adrenergic antagonists that block the beta receptor mediated sympathetic stimulation and adrenergic drugs okay then mechanism of action beta blockers competitively blocks the beta receptor mediated actions of catecholamines and adrenergic agonists so in this case beta receptor Uh, on this beta receptors beta blockers act as antagonist and catecholamines and adrenergic agonist act as agonist so beta blockers competitively blocks the action of catecholamines and adrenergic agonist on the beta receptor okay now we will learn the classification of beta blockers so in classification beta blockers are divided into three groups first generation second generation and third generation first generation is also called non selective beta blockers second generation is beta 1 selective that is cardio selective and then third generation is alpha plus beta activity so in first generation that is non selective beta blockers uh, non selective means uh, they will act on both the beta receptors that is beta 1 and beta 2 okay so trick to remember the non selective beta blocker that is first generation is pstp p4 propranolol S for sotalol, T for timolol, and P for pindolol. In second generation, that is B beta one or uh, cardio selective beta blockers. The trick to remember is abemeta. Okay, A for atinolol, A for asbutolol, B for bisoprolol, E for ismolol, and meta for metoprolol. Okay. Now third generation uh, beta blockers. That is, they have alpha plus beta activity. Trick to remember this is BLCC. B for beta zolol, L for labetalol, C for carvedilol, and C for seliprolol. Now next, therapeutic uses of beta blockers. We'll go one by one. Uh, first is uh, cardiac uses, and then non-cardiac uses. First cardiac uses. So trick to remember the cardiac uses is heart OC. Okay. So H for hypertension, A for angina prophylaxis. second a for cardiac arrhythmias a for arrhythmias okay c for congestive cardiac failure hoc that is this hoc uh, it, it is for uh, hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy and i for myocardial infarction okay now we will go one by one h for hypertension uh, in hypertension uh, we we use the beta blockers the advantages of be using beta blocker is beta blockers are cheaper well tolerated and they have longer duration of action and sodium and water retention is rare what it causes sodium and water retention it increases the bp so it is rare in, in case of beta blockers so we use the beta blockers in case of hypertension okay the next is a for angina prophylaxis in this case uh, beta blocker reduce the myocardial oxygen demand by reducing heart rate myocardial contractility and arterial pressure then uh, next use is cardiac arrhythmias uh, beta blockers are mainly used in atrial arrhythmias like atrial fib uh, fibrillation atrial flutter they are rarely used in the ventricular arrhythmias they are mainly used in atrial arrhythmias only okay next is uh, c for congestive cardiac failure in this case the chronic use of carvedilol metoprolol reduce the mortality rate then hoc that is hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy in this case propranolol is used which decreases the outflow resistance then i myocardial infarction in this case uh, the beta blockers reduce the myocardial oxygen demand as in case of angina prophylaxis so uh, they do this by decreasing the heart rate by decreasing myocardial contractility and atrial uh, arterial pressure and uh, they limit the infarct size they reduce frequency of episodes and they improve the exercise tolerance okay now next non cardiac uses of beta blockers so trick to remember is uh, ghapatap which is a funny trick uh, those who have watched the movie uh, sanju 
they will understand this jokes apart g for glaucoma h for hyperthyroidism a for acute anxiety p for pheochromocytoma a for alcohol withdrawal syndrome and t for tremors that is essential tremors a for dissecting aortic aneurysm and p for prophylaxis of migraine okay now we will go one by one g for glaucoma in glaucoma beta blockers decrease the intraocular pressure iop for intraocular pressure by decreasing the production of aqueous humor in the eye and uh, in this case timolol is most commonly used and cartiolol beta zolar are, are, are also used they are used topically hyperthyroidism in this case propranolol is used it inhibits the peripheral conversion of t4 to t3 and it is also used in thyroid storm now next use is acute anxiety in this case beta blockers are used to control the symptoms of acute anxiety that is palpitation and sweating then p for pheochromocytoma uh, what is pheochromocytoma it is a tumor of adrenal gland and in this case uh, rise in bp heart rate these are the complications uh, in this case beta blockers are used to control the cardiac manifestations and they should not be given alone they should be given with uh, the alpha blockers because if they uh, given alone that is only beta blockers are given in case of pheochromocytoma then there is a hypertensive crisis due to loss of negative feedback mechanism and uh, next use is a for alcohol withdrawal syndrome in this case propranolol is used uh, it gives some benefit in alcohol withdrawal syndrome and t for uh, tremors that is essential tremors in this case oral propranolol is used a for dissecting aortic aneurysm uh, in this case beta blockers are used to decrease the cardiac contractility and rate of development of pressure during systole okay this systole is important because this is aortic aneurysm the next is uh, p for prophylaxis of migraine in this case propranolol and metoprolol are used and they decrease the frequency of migraine headache thank you for watching the video and uh, if you like this video uh, do subscribe to my channel